Hello, welcome back to another episode of You Ask, I Answer. Recently, I did a series of video on how to sell your comic collection. And some of the questions I receive in the comment section is about my comic shop. And I have consigned quite a lot of slab. I have never consigned any raw books to my comic shop, so I can't speak about what kind of price uh, raw books can get because I have never sold anything as far as raw books. But as far as CGC slab and CBCS slabs, yes, I have done it quite a few times over the past few years. And let me show you how, in case you have no idea, how to do this. You go to My Comic Shop, okay, assuming that you have an account, so go ahead and sign up. It doesn't cost you anything, but your information as far as address and stuff, you don't want to have to enter in any kind of payment information until you bought, until you buy something. So here's My Comic Shop, okay. I'm sure many people are familiar with this website, but if you want to sell them something, Scroll all the way to the bottom of the page, okay? All the way to the bottom. Okay, you see this? We buy comics. Click on that link. And you get to this page, okay? So here, okay, if you already have an account with My Comic Shop, then this will link to your existing account with my comic shop so you don't have to do anything else regarding that but so here let's say you see this record item all that stuff up there so let's go through a quick example okay you go record item let's say for argument's sake you want to do x-man 94 okay just type in x-man 94 like that you see this? It popped up a whole bunch of choices as far as X-Men 94. Now, let's say you have a CGC slab to sell. Okay, so you click on CGC right here. You click on that. And then this popped up. Okay, let's say you have an 8.0. So let's scroll down to 8.0. Let's say you have uh, it's, it's blue label so and it's white. Okay, and that's it. If you have any other kind of information you want to put, pedigree, whatever, doesn't matter, but you hit submit. You see this? Submit right there. So, you see this right here? Now that I have entered in something, it shows up as that. So, you can go on and add and add and add as many books as you wish, okay? You keep doing it until you're done. And once you're done, go up here. You see this up here? Submit item for sales. That is if you are looking to sell directly to my comic shop or submit item for consignment. Okay, so let's click on that, see what happened. Okay, so here is basically the contract. I'm just gonna show you real quick so that you understand this. Uh, one of the big benefit of consigning something to my comic shop is their fee structure which I like a lot. It's the better fee structure than say Comic Link or eBay or Heritage or any other places that I know. Okay? Look at this. 10% for item less than 300. Okay? If it's 300 or less, 10%, minimum $5, no big deal. 8% if it's 300 to $3,000. Okay, so that's what I like. I tend to sell um, a few items in that price range. So it's nice to save 2%. 2% is a lot of money. And look at that. If you have a big boy book, it's only 6%. Right? Who's going to complain? Saving 4%. 4% is a big deal when you're talking about a $5,000 book, right? And best of all, is you do get the money fairly quickly. So let's say someone, let's say if you list the item and the item sold the next day, it's rare, but it happens if you price something cheap enough. 
within two weeks, you will get the check from my comic shop even quicker. So, okay, depend on how quickly the buyer pay. If the buyer pay the same day, you might get the check in one week. So it's all depend on how quickly somebody pay because the my comic shop does give people some latitude as far as how quickly they have to pay. But that is it. See that? See this? Most payment will be issued in seven to ten business day. Yeah, it's all there. Okay. So, and here is one more thing. If you decide to change your mind, not a big deal. I have done this before, where I fill out this form, I consign, say, eight books, and then somebody asks me to buy one of the book, and I said, okay, I can sell to them, and all I do is I can mail the other seven books. Even with the contract like this, and my comic shop will just ignore the one that is excluded. If if, the, if a book is not included in the box that contain the agreement that this order was submitted, they just assume that you changed your mind, okay? And you decide not to consign the book to them. So no biggie, no big deal, nothing to worry about. But that's it. It is that simple. You ship them the books. They will scan the book for you. Once you submit the book, you will get a form. There will be a form with a barcode that you can print out, and you must include that form with the box of the books that you submit. Okay, it is really simple. I don't need to show that part. A few days after. You send the book to my comic shop. You should get an email like this, okay? That tell you that they have received the book. They have scanned it, okay? So um, before this one, you will get an email saying that they received the book, and then a day or two later, you will get this one where they tell you that it's ready for price. That means that the book are scanned, and all you gotta do now is log into um, your account. And my comic shop will provide you with GPA data, as well as raw book sales, recent raw book sales, all kind of different sales data that they gather and collect, so that we will help you decide how to price your book. So it is really helpful. Okay, it's very easy to do, and uh, I love it. I will continue to consign certain books. To my comic shop for the foreseeable future.、Um, hopefully, this video explain how simple the process can be to consign anything with my comic shop. And I'm not sponsored by my comic shop in any way. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye bye.